Hello there, welcome to the A-Level Maths Pure Paper 1 of June 2023. Here we're looking at question 15. A curve has equation y equals f of x, where this is the equation here, show that this is its differential, where a and b are constants to be found. This is probably one of the hardest differentiation questions I've seen in the A-Level Maths Paper, but let's give it a go. So we've got to use the product rule on the numerator, the chain rule on the denominator, and then we've got to use the quotient rule for this overall function. So um, what we're going to start off with then is the differential of the numerator, the differential of u. In the chain rule, we'll call the top u and the bottom v. So the differential of u is going to be 7e uh, to the x plus 7xe to the x. And the differential of the bottom uh, is going to be using the chain rule, so that's uh, e to the 3x minus 2 to the power of a half. So the differential of the inside is 3e to the 3x. Then brackets. Uh, and then we reduce the power by 1. Multiply, so multiply the power to the front. Uh, and then reduce the power by 1. So it's e to the 3x minus 2 to the power of minus a half. Okay, let's now apply the... Um, quotient rule to all of this. So the quotient rule is u dash v minus v dash u over v squared. So it's the differential of u first, so that's 7e to the x add 7xe to the x. That's going to get multiplied by the normal e, normal v function e to the x minus 2 minus the differential of v, so 3e to the x times a half e to the 3x minus 2 to the power of minus a half times the normal u function 7x e to the x all over e to the 3x minus 2 because the bottom function gets squared. Okay, so I'm looking at what we've got so far and what we want the form of our answer to be. Looking at the denominator first, so we need an extra half a power of e to the x minus 2 and an extra multiple of 2. And what I've noticed is that that will perfectly cancel out this term on the numerator. So when it times by 2, brackets e to the 3x minus 2 to the power of a half, 2 e to the 3x minus 2 have half on the numerator and the denominator. So on the first term, 2 is going to turn these 7s into 14. 14e 14 to the x plus 14xe to the x, e to the 3x. No, just e to the x, beg my pardon. Uh, and then the e to the 3x minus 2 to the power of a half is going to simplify with this, e to the 3, e to the, yeah, e to the 3x minus 2 to the power of a half. So that would just give you e to the 3x minus 2. Okay, for the second part, it's just going to cancel out this term here. So that's going to become 21xe to the 4x over um, 2 brackets e to the 3x minus 2 to the power of a half. Right, so in the next part, we should probably have a look at maybe just expanding the uh, first term. So it's going to become 14e to the 4x minus 28e to the x plus 14xe to the 4x minus 28xe to the x minus 21xe to the 4x all over 2 e to the 3x minus 2 to the power of 3 over 2, not a half, 3 over 2. Right, now what I've spotted here is that this term here and this term here in the denominator, in the numerator, simplify to minus 7x e to the 4x. So we can still factorise out that 7 though, so 7, and we can factorise out an e to the x will give us, uh, so on the first term it becomes 2 e to the 3x minus 4, and then we've got minus 7x e to the 4x, so that will become minus 4x um, 
no, not minus 4, just minus x, because it's minus 7. Uh, so minus x e to the 4x, no, e to the 3x, because we've factorised out 1 e to the x, and then minus 4x e to the x. Uh, we've factorised out the e to the x, though, haven't we? So that can cancel. OK, uh, and then that's all over 2 e to the 3x minus 2 to the power of 3 over 2. Right, on to the next part then. So it's now 7e to the x, and now inside these brackets we've got to factorise out e to the 3x from two of the terms, from this term here and from this term here. So that gives us the 2 minus x, great. And then it's minus 4 minus 4x over 2e to the 3x minus 2 to the power of 3 over 2, which is exactly what they want us to prove it equal to. a is minus 4, b is minus 4. Well, that was, a, that was a hard differentiation question. OK, let's move on to part b, then show that the x-coordinate of the turning points of the curve are solutions of this equation. So let's remind ourselves of what the differential was. So let's just, uh, I've got it uh, on a piece of paper here. So it was 7e to the x, brackets, e to the 3x, 2 minus x, minus 4x minus 4, all over um, 2 brackets, e to the 3x minus 2 to the power of 3 over 2. Now, if we want turning points, this is when the differential is equal to zero. So I'll just delete that side and put an equal zero on the other side because stationary points is when dy by dx equals zero. So what we now need to do is we now need to solve an equation where this equals zero. Now, whenever any fraction equals zero, it's always the numerator that equals zero. We know that we can divide through by seven and we can divide through by e to the x because those terms are never zero. So it's just now e to the 3x, brackets 2 minus x, minus 4x minus 4, that needs to equal 0. Expand the brackets on these two terms on the left, so e, 2e to the 3x, minus x e to the 3x, minus 4x minus 4 equals 0. Um, we need to factorise out x at some point, so these two terms here and here are going to get moved to the other side. 2e to the 3x minus 4 equals x e to the 3x add 4x. Let's factorise the right-hand side. So you get e to the 3x plus 4, 2e to the 3x minus 4 on the left. And divide by your bracket, so you get x equals 2e to the 3x minus 4 over e to the 3x plus 4. Right, and there we are, that's the answer to part B. Let's now move on to part C. The equation x equals 2e to the 3x minus 4 over e to the 3x plus 4 has two positive roots, alpha and beta, where beta is bigger than alpha. A student uses the iterative iteration formula of this equation here in an attempt to find an approximation for alpha and beta. Diagram 1 shows a plot of the curve of equation y equals this equation and part of the line of y equals x. Use diagram one, using diagram one on page 42 of the booklet, draw a staircase diagram to show the iteration formula when x equals one, that can be used to find an approximation for beta. So what happens when you substitute x equals one into this formula is it goes up to your equation, then whatever value you find, it gets plugged into the y equals x equation. So you go along to here, up, across, up, across, and it's a classic staircase diagram. So that's what it's looking for in your answer to part C. Moving on to part D, use the iteration formula x1 equals 1 to find to three decimal places the value of x2. Okay, so I need to remind myself of what that formula was. So it's 2e to the 3x minus 4 over e to the 3x add 4. Um, so now if we substitute in uh, x equals 1 into this formula, 
then we get, let's uh, substitute it in, let's use the calculator, 2e to the 3 times 1 minus 4 over e to the 1, so e to the 3 plus 4, and we get 1.502, 1.502, so three significant figures, so it's three decimal places, I mean, and the value of beta. So if we continue to apply this formula, so um, we'll call this x2, x3. So we press the, um, so now we're going to put answer 3 times answer on the top of the fraction 3 times answer. That gives us 1.873. Press it again. X4 is 1.957. If we keep on hitting the equals button uh, until we get to a stable solution, then that keeps on going. And to if we keep on pressing the equals button, 1.968. Um, just to remind, just to show you what's on my calculator screen at the moment, it was 2e to the 3 answer button minus 4 over e to the 3 answer button plus 4 uh, and once I've worked out the 1.502 just kept on pressing the equals button on that calculator screen uh, to get my final answers. Part E uh, using a suitable interval uh, and a suitable function that should be stated show that alpha equals 0 0.432 uh, to three decimal places. So this is the other solution to this equation here. Um, so at the moment, this equation was x equals 2e to the 3x minus 4 over e to the 3x plus 4. But generally what you do when you're trying to prove a solution to three significant figures is you want a function that will equal zero. So actually what I'm going to do is the function that I'm going to use is going to subtract x on the other side. So 2e to the 3x minus 4 over e to the 3x plus 4 minus x. Okay, so from here I'm now going to substitute in the upper bound and the lower bound of these of this 0.432 to three decimal places, that's 0.4315, that's the lower bound of that number. And when I substitute that in to the equation, I'm just gonna do that 0.4315 and 0.4315, but then we've got to minus 0.4315 on the side we get a negative answer, 0 point, minus 0 0.000297. And then when we substitute in the upper bound, 4325, we get, I'm just changing my calculator screen to put a 2 there instead of a 1. Bear with me, everyone. Uh, so what function am I using at the moment? I'm using this function here, substituting in these two values. And that gives me 0 0.000948 to three, signif to three, decimal, three significant figures. Right, so now that we've proved that there's a change of sign, and the f of x function is continuous, um, so we're going to write this down as there is a change of sign. as there is a change of sign between 0.4315 and 0.4325 um, and f of x is continuous. Um, there is a solution to this equation 
which is 0.432 to three decimal places. Wow, that was a big final question there for this uh, paper one of June 2023. So there we are, that's the answer for question 15 with a total of 13 marks. Uh, very well done if you followed all of that and don't worry if you need to replay that video a little bit more or even if you're really not understanding it, take it to your teacher and uh, let them enjoy this problem as well. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you in Pure Paper 2.